Brilliant. You like that? <laughs> I do. I do. I don't think they should cut it up. They should put it somewhere else and let somebody else have a you know, walk around the country. Organisers of the Sea Monster say half a million people visited the attraction on Western Supermare's seafront after delays getting it ready. The repurposed North Sea gas rig was open to the public for two months before closing its doors on Sunday. Parts have already been removed, although a petition to keep it in place for longer has this afternoon been taken to Parliament. I think it's disgusting they're getting rid of it. It's, it's an attraction. There's thousands of people come to see it. It's bringing people into Western. What's the matter? What are they thinking? So we've just visited Sea Monster, haven't we? And I actually only found out about it last week, and I'm amazed to find that it's cost reputed 24 million to put it together. Having seen this on t BBC television earlier in the year, I live in the East Coast. I've come all the way here to see this fantastic sea monster. What a great piece of artwork. Yeah, we visited the sea monster this morning and we thought it was an amazing experience and I'm so disgusted that somebody has decided to pull it down. Uh, please leave it up. We're all enjoying it so much. You only have to look at the queues of people that are trying to get in. Why take it? Why dissemble it tomorrow? Why break it up? Why not keep it here for the rest of the year until until something else is arranged to go there. There's a lot of money that's cost to have that. It's brilliant. This is our petition for uh, Michelle Donnellan, the uh, Culture Minister here at the Department of Digital Culture, Media and Sport in London, to save Sea Monster, a stay of execution for this fantastic art project that could be a beacon for the creativity revolution that our children, our communities and our country so desperately need. I'm going to hand it in now. That is Nick Corston. He's full of beans, isn't he? He loves Sea Monster, and there's nothing wrong with that. What's the point of being human and being on this planet at a tough time like this if we haven't got art and culture? And as I say, Sea Monster could be that beacon for a creativity revolution we so desperately need in this country. Yeah!